Our planet experienced another glaciation 500,000 years ago. The continents were already located in the places similar to us, but the climate and nature were very different from our time. Despite such harsh conditions, the ancestors of modern people continued to develop more and more new spaces for life. This time was the heyday of such a type of people as Neanderthals, and nothing foreshadowed that in a few hundred thousand years, they would disappear under the onslaught of a more adapted and developed competitor. As you know, any ice age is not a long and static glaciation, starting from the poles. Ice ages consist of periodic thaws and cold snaps within certain temperature ranges. But in the period of 500,000 to 20,000 years ago, glaciers in Europe reach Kiev, Dnepropetrovsk, and Volgograd. The North American ice sheet covered half of the continent, and along the Mississippi River Valley, it practically reached the line of the tropics. The thickness of the ice in Scandinavia and the United States reached 3.5 to 4 kilometers. A similar situation was in the area of the South Pole. Such gigantic masses of ice could not be influenced by the climate in other territories. Therefore, vast territories were occupied by tundra, forest tundra, and semi-deserts. The tundra was located at the latitudes of the modern Central European states. The territories of modern France and Germany were vast grassy plains with sparse forests. Woodlands reached the shores of the Mediterranean Sea. This time was the heyday of the so-called mammoth fauna. In the period from 750 to 500,000 years ago, the final separation of the steep mammoth from the southern one took place, and it began its settlement in Europe, Asia, and North America. Huge herd of large ungulates, such as woolly rhinoceros, bison, various types of horses and deer, also migrated across the tundra and forest steeps. Predators were represented by a large number of variety of cats, as well as wolves and bears. Simultaneously with the mammoths, the ancestors of people, who are commonly called Neanderthals, also left Africa. It is believed that they appeared about 600,000 years ago. Following the periodically retreating glaciers, their population spread farther north and east. Until recently, it was believed that they were a dead-end branch of development and only the Cro-Magnons, who appeared about 40,000 years ago, could be our ancestors. But when it became possible to conduct gene research, it turned out that the DNA of many modern human populations, Neanderthal genes are present along with the genes of other ancestors of modern people. Physically, Neanderthals were more adapted to the harsh conditions of life on Earth at that time but they were inferior in the development of technology and culture. Therefore, they lost the race for the survival of their species. But their way of life, culture, and other features are of great interest to scientific study. Their average height was about 165 centimeters, they had a heavy skeleton, and their muscle mass was about 30 to 40% higher than the muscle mass of modern people. Also, Neanderthals had a low sloping forehead and large cheekbones with strong jaw muscles. The nose of these ancient people was wide. Its shape and dimensions ensured the warming of the inhaled air. The striking features of their appearance were largely superciliary arches and a small chin. The neck of the Neanderthals was massive and short. The structure of their vocal apparatus indicates the ability to pronounce coherent sounds, that is, we can definitely say that Neanderthals could talk to each other. It is also believed that they had no facial hair, but this hypothesis has not yet received 100% confirmation. An interesting opinion about the mode of movement of Neanderthals was expressed by researcher Karen Steidel Numbers. He believed that since these creatures had shorter and more massive limbs, their step was shorter than that of the Cro-Magnons. Because of this, the Neanderthal had to expend more energy on walking and other activities with his hands and feet. Neanderthals obtained food through hunting and gathering. At the heart of their diet were foods such as meats, nuts, and roots. 
DNA studies of these ancestors of modern humans showed that in adulthood, the gene responsible for the absorption of lactose was blocked in them. That is, they could only eat milk only in their early childhood. In general, it is believed that adults were able to start drinking milk of various animals only with the advent of dairy farming. Before that, for an adult, it was almost poison. Most likely, Neanderthals lived in small tribal communities of up to 30 individuals. They actively used fire for cooking, roasting dishes, and making various tools. Contrary to popular belief, they did not use caves as dwellings. Archaeological finds say that their sites were most often located in the steep along the course of nomads. Near the caves, they could equip their dwellings with skins, wood, and bones. Near the caves, they could equip their dwelling from skins, wood, and bones, and Neanderthals could enter the caves themselves only for a short time in search of shelter or to perform rituals or other cultural activities. For example, in caves, they could bury their dead relatives. A large number of such cave burials have been found on the territory of Europe and the Middle East. In the cave of La Chapelle Hot Seine, in France, a characteristic and well-preserved burial of this type was found. A Neanderthal skeleton was located in a shallow grave in the fetal position. Traces of food and flowers were found next to it, which are considered to be funeral attributes. One of the most famous burials associated with Neanderthals was found in the Shanadar Cave in Iraq. In the grave of an adult man, who was about 40 years old, which by those standards was rather old, a large amount of flower pollen was found. Here, the opinions of researchers are divided. Some considered it a sign of some type of ritual. Others think that the pollen was part of a drug which they tried to use to cure the man. Scientists have not yet come to a consensus on whether Neanderthals had any single religious cult. There is practically no grave goods in the graves of these ancient people. Many burials are located right on the site of their permanent settlements. But there is an opinion that often they do not belong to relatives, but to be killed and perhaps eaten by enemies. There is practically no reliable information about the culture of Neanderthals. At one time, they were credited with the invention of the first musical instrument. During the excavations, the so-called bone flute was discovered, a piece of bone with four holes. But there is an opinion that the holes may have been hyena teeth marks, although some especially musical Neanderthal might have extracted some sounds from such a bone without thinking of the nature of the holes. But no other evidence of Neanderthal-made musical instruments has yet been found. Primitive wooden spears and clubs were used as weapons for hunting and war. Neanderthals did not possess any throwing weapons like a bow or a sling. The collection of roots was carried out with the help of special digging knives. And for the manufacturing of jewelry, simple drills were used. Such decorations were most often the teeth and claws of animals or shells. Reliable evidence of the presence of paintings or sculptures among Neanderthals has not yet been found. All the alleged objects of art or the presence of some special culture have so far turned out to be the only attempts to bring the question under the answer. But it has been reliably proven that they had ideas about medicine and care for their fellow tribesmen. Many skeletons found have preserved traces of high-quality treatment of fractures and other injuries. It's also known that old people and cripples lived among them, who perhaps were entrusted with feasible work. So, the Neanderthals had all the prerequisites for the development of society to a higher level, but the cruel laws of evolution did not allow them to move on to the next step. Or maybe the history of mankind would have gone in a completely different way if the race for survival had been won by these creatures and not our direct ancestors. We express gratitude to the viewers who watched this video to the end. To learn more about the development of life on the planet and the condition of the other ice ages, we advise you to pay attention to the other videos on our channel. Also, here you can find a lot of interesting information about living creatures that inhabited our planet at different times.